Hey, what's going on YouTube? iDevice Help here. Today in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to unlock your iPhone 5 in iOS 6.0 all the way through iOS 6.1.2, which is the current iOS version as of the filming of this video. Now, this is for Sprint iPhone 5 only. As you can see here, this is my Sprint iPhone 5 running iOS 6.1.2. Again, a Sprint iPhone 5 only for Verizon users. Your devices are already unlocked. You do not need to purchase anything or do anything to it because for Verizon, they're already unlocked. So let's go ahead and get started on unlocking this iPhone 5 for Sprint. Now I'm going to be showing you with the new GPP that was released uh, here for the iPhone 5 with the Nano SIM. Now inside the uh, the uh, the package, you get uh, two two cards. You don't really need them right now. We don't really need them. Uh, you also get the custom chip right there. It is. You also get the custom tray and a SIM extracting tool. So let's set that aside for a few seconds here. And let me go ahead and start. Now before I begin, it works on all iPhone 5s, good ESN, bad ESN, as long as it's Sprint iPhone 5. Running iOS 6.0 all the way through iOS 6.1.2, again, which is the current one as of the filming of this video. Now if Apple uh, updates their iOS uh, software and this is supported, then I'll update the title and also the video description. Very important that you guys read the video description for more information if you're watching this at a later time. Now you do have to be jailbroken in order for this to work. And uh, if you haven't jailbroken already, my jailbreak video will be in the, uh, in the links down below. And also you can check it out in my YouTube channel. It's really simple. It only takes about five minutes. So there it is. My carrier is Sprint. I'm going to go ahead and extract the uh, tray here. Remove the uh, SIM card. And I'm going to be showing you how to set up uh, T-Mobile and AT&T on this uh, uh, Sprint iPhone 5. So I'm going to go ahead. I have a T-Mobile SIM card here that I cut to the size of a regular Nano SIM. Here is the Nano SIM for AT&T. Here is the T-Mobile that I cut. You can go ahead and cut cut one yourself. Make sure you don't cut the golden color plate here in the back. Because uh, if you do uh, ruin your SIM card, no big deal. Carriers can give you a free SIM card. Uh, they don't charge. But try not to cut the uh, gold plate in the back. And if you have a, 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 an extra chip that you can overlay on the top like that and cut it, uh, the better better you off. So better you are. So let's go ahead and begin. I'm go ahead and uh, first prove that this uh, iPhone 5 is locked to the uh, Sprint network. So I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, T-Mobile SIM card on a regular tray here that comes with the iPhone, and I'm going to insert the tray, the SIM card. So there it is. Now while that process takes place, it's going to make the iPhone crash, proving that the device is locked. Uh, there is two different trays, and I'll talk about this in the uh, later on, further down in the video. Uh, you can purchase it at iDeviceHelpUs.blogspot.com, of course, the uh, only reliable source to unlock your iOS device or your iPhone 5 in this case. So you got the black one and you got the silver one. Obviously, the silver is for the white iPhone that I'm using in this video and the black one, obviously, for the black iPhone. So we'll talk about that later uh, further down in the video. Now, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up your MMS picture messaging, also your internet data plan and the unlock itself so let's go ahead and wait for the sim card to crash here proving that this iphone 5 is locked let's go ahead and wait so there it is the device is crashing all right it's going to tell us a uh, sim not valid it's going to tell us that the sim card is not valid there it is sim card not valid so that means this iphone is locked to sprint so we're going to fix that in this video and I'm going to show you how to unlock it to AT&T, T-Mobile. So let's go ahead and uh, jump into Cydia. Make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi, by the way, guys. Make sure Cydia finished loading completely. And you're going to be adding a source by tapping into the Manage section here of Cydia. You want to go to the Source section, hit the Edit button on the top, and hit the Add. And now the source that you're going to type into there will be in the video description down below. So make sure you uh, add it and hit the Add button. I already did, of course, for the purpose of the video. And it's this one here, uh, China3GPP.com. Now, the package that you want to download is the uh, iPhone 5 Nano GPP package. All right, so you're going to click install. Go ahead and install that. It should take a few seconds. Now, this is the official and original uh, SIM card that unlocks. This is uh, the safest way to get it, guys. There's a lot of scams out there. Please don't fall into any scams. This is the official one to unlock the Sprint iPhone 5. So once the package is done installing, really quick there, uh, you'll get an application on your screen. That's fine. So we're going to go ahead and set up the uh, GPP here. We're going to uh, take out the custom tray. 
and also let's go ahead and take out the chip itself we're gonna drop the chip on top of the GPP like so let's see if I can get this right all right so there it is simple enough and we're going to unlock to T-Mobile first and then I'm gonna do AT&T so we're going to power off our devices go ahead and power off okay and you're gonna set it up like this the tray the custom tray the chip and then the carrier sim card that you want to unlock to now this is a sim card unlock so it only works from GSM sprint to uh, uh I'm sorry from CDMA sprint to GSM carriers like T-Mobile and AT&T so once the device is completely powered off you're gonna slide the sim card in there and simply power on so there it is the device is done rebooting let's go ahead and slide to unlock remember the T-Mobile sim card that did not work earlier on this iPhone 5 is now in there with the custom GPP chip and tray to work on the unlock so there it is it's searching for carrier right now again make sure you are connected to Wi-Fi let's go ahead and wait and I've teamed up with the guys at Hero Wireless of course uh, iDevice Help and Hero Wireless bringing these unlocks to you guys for a long time now so it's still searching Now we got the no service, and we should get T-Mobile to pop up here in a few seconds. And there it is, T-Mobile on the iPhone 5. Let's go to general. About. There it is, iPhone 5, iOS 6.1.2. Carrier, the network is T-Mobile. Now, there is the official unlock for the iPhone 5 in iOS 6. Let's go ahead and I'll go to general, cellular data, and turn on data roaming. Now I'm going to go ahead and take out the uh, T-Mobile SIM card and switch it out for the AT&T SIM card. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay. So here's an AT&T SIM card. Go ahead and drop that on top just like we did for the T-Mobile. And we're going to slide it into the iPhone. Make sure it's... There we go. And let's wait for the service. Okay, so now it's searching. So there it is, AT&T now is running on the Sprint iPhone 5 and iOS 6.1. There it is, the network is AT&T. And the carrier, it just says carrier down there. So that's perfectly fine. Now the next part of this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up your MMS. So let's go ahead and do that. Alright guys, so now I'm going to show you guys how to set up your MMS and SMS picture messaging on the iPhone that you just unlocked. I'm using AT&T. Now I have this blog post which will go also here at iDeviceHelpUs.blogspot.com. I have this blog post that will be a direct link down below for the AT&T MMS and SMS settings. And also for T-Mobile. As more carriers become available, I will add more. Uh, for now, I have those two. You want to go into Settings Application, then go to General. Then go to Cellular Data and cellular data network and you're going to in, uh, type in this information as it is on the uh, on the on the blog post again this blog post will be down below so when you uh, unlock your device if you go into TNT you go ahead and put the uh, MMS settings for AT&T just like I did and you should be good to go to send picture messages I have this iPhone 4s here uh, set up to uh, test this uh, SMS picture message so I'm gonna go ahead and send an image to this iPhone 4s using this iPhone 5 to prove that MMS is working Let's go ahead and do that. So there it is. It just sent a picture message to this iPhone for us. We should receive it here uh, momentarily. Mm -hmm. 
So there it is. I just received the picture on the iPhone 4s, and I'm gonna go ahead and send a, a, a type of SMS message to send it from the iPhone 4s to the iPhone 5. And there it is. I received it, and let's go ahead and do that backwards. Go ahead and do that as well. Send it from the iPhone 5 to the 4s SMS. As you can see by the green bubble, it's SMS. So there it is. Picture messaging and SMS working on your iPhone 5 after uh, unlocking it. Uh, uh, your Sprint iPhone 5 after unlocking it to AT&T or T-Mobile again. The mobile uh, MMS settings will be in this post. The post will be down in the video description. So next up will be Internet Data Plan. Alright guys, so now the final part here of this video is how to set up your Internet Data Plan. Rather it's AT&T, T-Mobile, or whatever. You go into your mobile Safari web browser and you type unlock this website here, unlock.co.nz. This is again to set up your internet data plan if you have a data plan on your SIM card. Go ahead and click create APN. Select your country and also the carrier. I'm using AT&T HSPA Plus. So let's go ahead and uh, do that. Now depending on your location, uh, your uh, coverage might vary. You might use uh, 3G, 4G or, uh, or Edge. Now when you uh, click on uh, create, it takes you to your settings application. Go ahead and install that profile. and once you go back to the home screen, you'll get a new icon here on your screen. That's perfectly fine. Let's go back to settings. And again, uh, coverage varies uh, by area. Right now where I live, uh, I only get I get poor reception. Let's go ahead and turn off the, uh, the Wi-Fi and go ahead and make sure that this is working on AT&T's network. Let's go ahead and uh, load my, uh, my blog. So there we go. So there it is. My blog is perfectly working. The internet data uh, is working on the uh, Sprint iPhone 5 that I just unlocked. So that is MMS, internet, and all everything in between for the new unlock on the iPhone 5 in iOS 6. All the way through 6.1.2 with the new GPP. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I've been teaming up with the guys at Hero Wireless. Now, of course, don't get scammed, guys. Make sure you purchase this uh, in a reliable source. Now, if you purchase it through us, we will give you support and also walk you through any issues that you might have. If you do run into any issues, you can contact me down below in the comments section or on Facebook, and I'll be sure to make uh, to give you support until this works for you. Now, here on my blog, if you go to iDeviceHelpUs.blogspot.com, you want to scroll down here. On the right, you can see the image of the uh, SIM cards. Right here, there's two trays. One's black, obviously, for the black iPhone, and then the silver for the white iPhone. That's the one I was using today. You go ahead here and select the one that you like. Go ahead and make sure right here is as noted, black or silver. I don't know if you guys can really see that, but it is noted there. Make sure you select the right color and go ahead and purchase it for yourself. You decide to unlock. And again, guys, I will give you support as long as you purchase it through us. I guarantee that this is going to work for you. So uh, once again, thanks to the guys at Hero Wireless for teaming up with iDevice Help Us. Uh, to bring this to you guys so click thumbs up on this video guys if it really did help you click the like button I really do appreciate it and make sure you leave a comment down below of anything and make sure of course You stay up to date with the latest information on unlocks and everything iOS device by going to iDeviceHelpUs.blogspot.com It's been iDevice. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace